Welcome to Tech Machine, where we explore the intricate processes that bring food from the farm to your table. Today, we're diving into the world of large-scale dairy farming and the milk production process. In the heart of a modern dairy farm, thousands of cows are housed in facilities designed to optimize milk production. These are known as factory farms or concentrated animal feeding operations, KFOs. in these facilities are typically fed a controlled diet through automated systems. This diet is designed to maximize milk yield and maintain the health of the cows. Milk production happens in specialized areas known as milking parlors. One common system used in large farms is the rotary milking parlor. Cows step onto a rotating platform where milking machines are attached to their udders. The entire process is automated, allowing hundreds of cows to be milked efficiently. The milking machines mimic the natural suckling action of a calf, gently extracting milk. This milk is then transported through a series of tubes into large storage tanks. Once collected, the milk is cooled rapidly to preserve its freshness. It is then stored in massive tanks until it's ready to be transported to processing facilities. Milk is transported in refrigerated trucks to processing plants, where it undergoes pasteurization, a heating process that kills harmful bacteria. before it's packaged and sent to grocery stores. Euro. From here, it is distributed to stores across the country, ready for you to enjoy. And there you have it, the journey of milk from cow to carton. Understanding this process can help us appreciate the complex systems that provide us with everyday staples. At the processing plant, milk is bottled or packaged in various forms, such as whole milk, skim milk, or cream.
Today, we're uncovering the fascinating process behind one of the most essential ingredients in Asian cuisine, soybean paste. It all starts with the humble soybean, grown in vast fields. These beans are harvested and transported to factories, where they begin their journey into becoming the rich, flavorful paste we know and love. At the factory, the first step is to clean and sort the soybeans. Any debris or damaged beans are removed to ensure that only the highest quality beans are used. The clean soybeans are then soaked in water for several hours. This process softens the beans, making them easier to cook and ferment. Next, the soaked beans are cooked thoroughly. This step is crucial, as it not only softens the beans further, but also helps in breaking down complex sugars. making the paste easier to digest. After cooking, the beans are transferred to fermentation tanks. This is where the magic happens. A starter culture, often consisting of specific molds and bacteria, is added to the beans. Over the next several months, the beans undergo a natural fermentation process, developing the deep umami flavors that characterize soybean paste. Once fermentation is complete, the beans are ground into a smooth paste. The consistency of the paste can vary. Depending on whether it's meant to be chunky or smooth. At this stage, additional ingredients like salt or seasonings may be added to enhance the flavor. Quality control is a critical part of the process. Samples of the soybean paste are taken and tested to ensure they meet strict safety and flavor standards before moving to the packaging stage. Finally, the paste is packaged into jars, tubs, or pouches, ready to be shipped to stores and ultimately into your kitchen. Soybean paste is a versatile ingredient used in everything from soups and stews to marinades and dips. Its rich, savory taste adds depth to countless dishes. Making it a staple in many households around the world. And that's how soybeans are transformed into the delicious paste that elevates so many of our favorite foods.
enjoyed this inside look at the manufacturing process. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more videos that explore the fascinating world of food production. Thanks for watching and see you next time.